Welcome back. Thank you for staying with Lunchtime News. Now, a clean energy project geared towards tackling climate change has been launched at Ichuni Girls Secondary School in Masaba South Sub County, Kisi County. The project that has been funded by Equity Foundation will help the school reduce dependence on wood for fuel, meal preparation hours, and mitigate against respiratory diseases through prevention of air pollution. Speaking during the launch of a clean energy project at Ichonigal Secondary School, Equity Foundation Associate Director Eric Nevasha noted the use of wood fuel in secondary schools as one of the biggest challenges to curbing climate change. We realized particularly secondary boarding schools are the biggest consumers of firewood. And then we realized that the trees that we are planting and committing a lot of resources then will be in danger if we don't do something about consumption of firewood. And we did a research and found that schools in Kenya are consuming in excess of one million metric tons of wood per year to keep their kitchens running. Do you know how much that one translates to? Mathematicians. Hmm? One million metric tons of firewood translate into cutting 12 million trees a year. 12 million trees a year being cut to sustain our education institution. Equity Foundation is also supporting our forestation initiative where 15 million trees have been planted within two and a half years. We have destroyed our environment through um, cutting trees of firewood. We have just planted 15 million trees in, in two and a half years. Two million trees on the ground, courtesy of equity, and I'm sure a few have been planted. I'm sure even some principals who are here could have been beneficiaries of the trees uh, that we've been planting with schools and our communities. Ichuni Girls Secondary School Principal Lucy Ambida commended the foundation, terming it as a welcome change to the institution's lifestyle. Equity Foundation has also ensured learners' participation and witnessed consistent savings through recycling biogas into renewable energy sources. Efi Nyakidi for Lunchtime News.